What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Before we get into those pitches, hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss all the stuff we have for you this season. I'll be bringing to you player interviews and highlights all year. We're going to start with Reed Detmers, who had six strikeouts in three and two-thirds innings. Now, Reed's known for his curveball, but actually it was a combo of his fastball and his slider that really racked up these strikeouts. I mean, look at those wicked sliders rack up those swords. Now, I mentioned Detmers is known for his curveball, and I didn't show any, so I'll show you his grip. Here he is describing it to me, and now you too can throw filthy curveballs. Yusei Kikuchi was filthy, and I really like his changeup. Kikuchi was also the subject of one of my favorite mechanics comparison. Kikuchi vs. a waving bear. Jason Adam was filthy with these three Ks, and you're always going to be featured on Pitching Ninja when you give him a shout-out in between innings. Also, which is electric stuff. I mean, you come here and it's like watching guys warm up. It's like, I feel like I'm watching the Pitching Ninja all day. I was going to say... Liam Hendricks' slider and Potty Mouth were in mid-season form. Ethan Roberts had these vicious sliders. You can see him start down the middle and take a left turn. And he was very excited about being featured on my Twitter account. John Duran showed these just overpowering pitches, hitting 100 miles an hour, showing a nasty breaking ball, and then a 97 mile an hour splinker. The splinker is a cross between a sinker and a splitter. And you can see here, it starts out looking the same as fastball, but actually drops 11 inches more. You can see why that would be a nightmare for a hitter. And this is what his splinker grip looks like. You can see how his fingers are spread a little bit further apart than a normal fastball. Colin McHugh threw this beautiful and filthy curveball that had an amazing 76 inches of vertical drop. You can get these numbers on Baseball Savant, but basically it's measured by taking the trajectory of the pitch originally and seeing how much it deviates from that trajectory. McHugh also proved that pitchers are athletes with this amazing play. On to college, Zach Maxwell had some wicked sliders for Georgia Tech. Zach can also touch 100. He's also a really big dude and my son's housemate and once sat on their granite countertop or granite former countertop. That's why he got the nickname Stone Crusher. Connor Nolan was lights out for Arkansas. You can see why. Check out these nasty breaking balls. I mean, the man is just a competitor on the bump. Speaking of nasty stuff, Chase Burns was in action again for Tennessee, and you can see why he's so dominant with his upper 90s fastball and wicked sliders. He struck out 52 batters in 39 innings this year with an ERA barely above one. Last but not least, Parker Messick from Florida State. He's an electric factory, so much fun to watch, dominant stuff, and check out this K strut. I freaking love it. He gets me fired up every time I watch him. But the filthiest pitch and pitcher of the day is Matt Brash's slider. I mean, check these out. He throws them at over 3,000 RPMs and they move like a frisbee. He's making major league hitters look like they've never swung a bat. In fact, during this game, he had a rarity. Struck out the side and got all swords in doing it. That is incredible. He made these hitters look like David Spade in bench warmers. <laughs> Don't chop at him. It's not a sword. You're not a sword. Striking out the side with all swords? Well, you deserve a trophy, Matt Brash. Or maybe I should call you Sir Matt Brash, because you can be knighted. To show how hard Matt Brash's slider is to hit, here it is overlaid with his 97-mile-an-hour fastball. Start out looking the same, and then it's impossible. I am looking forward to watching Matt Brash all season and supplying me with endless filth. <laughs> 